The 2020 Academy Awards have officially come and gone, and last night's show recognized some of the year's most critically acclaimed films, so stay tuned because we're breaking down the night's biggest winners right now. What's up, y'all? It's the Miltonist Jr. back here with Clever News, and yet another successful award show season has come and gone, but the 2020 Oscars did not let us down. And the Oscar goes to... Parasite. <laughs> The South Korean comedy thriller and one of my favorite films from this award season, Parasite, that has literally everyone talking on social media, won the night's most prestigious award for Best Picture. The film, which combined humor, suspense, and some horror, became the first ever non-English language film to score the top honor. This major victory also marked the film's fourth win of the night, including Best International Feature Film, Original Screenplay, as well as Best Director for filmmaker Bong Joon-ho, where he used his acceptance speech to thank his fellow directing nominees, including Martin Scorsese and Quentin Tarantino. When I was in school, I studied Martin Scorsese's films. Just to be nominated was a huge honor. I never thought I would win. Thank you so much. Quentin, I love you. And to nobody's surprise, these four victories deserved a celebration. Although Bong delivered his acceptance speeches with the help of a translator, he was able to put together one iconic sentence in English. Thank you. I, I will drink until next morning. Thank you. <laughs> Bong also later apologized to the Oscars engravers for having too many awards, saying, quote, I'm so sorry for the hard work. There's too many. We love him, but moving right along, the suspenseful World War I film, 1917, that was filmed to look like it was shot in a single take, took home three awards for Best Cinematography, Best Sound Mixing, and Best Visual Effects. Ford vs. Ferrari, Joker, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood each took home two awards, including Joaquin Phoenix's role in Joker for Best Actor, and Brad Pitt's role in Once Upon a Time for Best Supporting Actor, which was Brad's first Oscar for acting. Following along in the actor and actress categories, Renee Zellweger took home Best Actress for starring as Judy Garland in the film Judy, and Laura Dern for Best Supporting Actress in the Netflix original movie Marriage Story. But we have to go back to Joaquin's speech because he used his speech to shed light on many causes that he was passionate about and also spoke about finding unity. He said, I think that whether we're talking about gender inequality or racism or queer rights or indigenous rights or animal rights, we're talking about the fight against injustice, we're talking about the fight against the belief that one nation, one race, one gender, or one species has the right to dominate, control, and use and exploit another with impunity. This also marked a massive career comeback for Renee, 16 years after she won her first Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in Cold Mountain. Now in the animated feature category, Pixar films Toy Story 4 took home the Oscar, but everyone is talking about Hair Love taking home the win for Best Animated Short. If you haven't seen Hair Love, you can watch the full short on YouTube. It really is beautiful. But we must move on. Jojo Rabbit won for Best Adapted Screenplay. Little Women took home the prestigious trophy for Best Costume Design. And for Best Makeup and Hair, Bombshell received an Oscar. Oscar. Now, in the documentary categories, American Factory won for Best Feature, while Learning to Skateboard in a War Zone If You're a Girl won for Best Documentary Short. And finally, The Great Elton John scored an Oscar for Best Original Song for I'm Gonna Love Me Again in Rocket Man, which also won a Golden Globe earlier this year. The song was written and composed by Elton himself, along with his longtime collaborator Bernie Taupin, who has worked on many of Elton's biggest hits through the decades, including Benny and the Jets, Tiny Dancer, Crocodile Rock, Candle in the Wind, and Rocket Man. Elton even took to the Oscar stage to perform Love Me Again. This is Elton's second ever Oscar following his win in 1995 for the Lion King track, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Iconic. But we certainly could feel the love in the room last night as the many deserving actors, actresses, directors, and creatives left with a shiny new piece of hardware. Winners and nominees alike can sure walk away with something to be so proud of, but right now, I wanna know all your thoughts on the winners from last night's Oscars. Were you surprised by any of the winners or did you think any films were snubbed? Get to talking down here in the comment section below. And then guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell, and then click right over here to watch another brand new video. I'm your host, The Miltonist Jr. Thank you so much for watching, and guess what, guys? I'll see you soon.